was euthanized this morning after battling tuberculosis. Our Lisa Balick has covered the elephants there at the Oregon Zoo for some time now and joins us live from the zoo. And no doubt, Lisa, this was a tough decision for a lot of people. Absolutely very tough and some people were asking me today and through social media. What about the elephants? Has there been any reaction from the elephants here? The five that are still here and no, there has not been much because again, you have to remember Packy has been separated because of his TB from the herd for several years, but I did see plenty of women and men leaving the zoo today in tears. A lot of agonizing discussion about what to do is happening um, for Packy. He was having some good days and some bad days. For zoo veterinarian Dr. Tim Storms, it was a very tough decision he and his team made last night. They don't really show symptoms very distinctly. There's nothing specific. They don't cough. They don't really show labor breathing until it's the extreme end. And that was unacceptable to us to even get to that point. Packy was the zoo's superstar since the day he was born. The first baby elephant born in captivity in 44 years, back in April of 1962. He fathered seven of the two dozen elephants subsequently born at the Oregon Zoo. His birthday, always a huge public event, fitting for a six-ton celebrity. I feel like I built a bond with him, um, but a lot of people have. You know, that's the thing about Packy. He makes you feel special because he participates. He seeks you out. Senior elephant keeper Bob Lee was here this morning for Packy's last moments. Lee's worked with Packy for 17 years. Powerful bull. But he'd be the first one that we would start new keepers with. And uh, they'd be running through the bath routine. We have a set bath routine that we would put them through. And new folks would get the order wrong. And when they did, he would just stop and look at them and wait. Packy's team knew he wasn't responding to drugs for tuberculosis. So they stopped treatment in September. He had been separated from the herd since his TB showed up back in 2013. It's a highly contagious respiratory disease. His son Rama had it and was put down a couple of years ago. It brought some tears to my eyes because Packy's been part of the Northwest for a long time. Not having a family member here tomorrow morning is going to be as devastating as it is for all the folks at home who go through the same thing with their family members or their pets. It's going to be really hard. Hard for everyone. Now, there will be a memorial service sometime in the next couple of weeks. We'll keep you posted. Live at the Oregon Zoo, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. And it's tough for everybody, especially folks who have lived here for a long grown time and him. growing up here. Uh, it, it's a tough day today. Thanks, Lisa. Also tonight, a man accused of robbing a person he didn't know at gunpoint is shot and killed by Portland police during a search of the neighborhood. This happened this morning near Northeast 